Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I'm Kishala. I hope you all are doing well. So I hope from the thumbnail you get to know about the topic of today's video. In this video, I'll talk about the placement statistics for CSE MTech students in IIT Bombay. So if you're following my channel closely, you know for last couple of months, I'm preparing several videos regarding placement statistics in different institutions. Yeah. In specific, I have made video about ISC Bangalore, CSE department, CDS department, AI department, and microelectronics department placement statistics. I made a separate video about CSE placement statistics in IIT Kharagpur. And those videos are there in my channel. If you haven't watched those videos, please have a look. The link I'll be giving in the description. Now, coming back to today's video, as I said before, this video is about IIT Bombay CSE placement uh, statistics for MTech students. In specific, I'll talk about that how placement has happened in IIT Bombay for MTech students this year, how many students got placed, you know, what was the slot wise data, how many companies are within each slot, how were their packages like base salary, city salary, is there any international offer for the students in IIT Bombay uh, from the MTech branch. So everything will be there in this video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned this video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when you upload a new video, you will get a notification. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video to many other people. With any details that are into today's video. Now, when I gather this data, there are total 66 students from MTech branch or MTech curriculum in IIT Bombay from CSE department got placed. I don't know the exact strength of MTech curriculum uh, in CSE department IIT Bombay. That's why I do, can't say the percentage of students who got placed. But obviously, it's not 100% because as far as I know, in IIT Bombay, the CSE strength is more than 100. That means around 60% to 70% student, we can we can assume that they got placed uh, so far when I have gathered this data. And there are yet maybe 30 to 40% students that are yet to be placed. So the similar situation, what we have you know seen for ISC Bangalore and IIT Kharagpur, that not all students are placed in the on-campus placement. So the same train are getting followed in IIT Bombay also. Now coming to the slot-wise or day-wise data, that means in each day, how many students got placed from CAC department from the MTech curriculum in IIT Bombay. In day one, total 22 students got placed and the different companies which have reached the campus in day one and recruited the student is Apple has visited the campus and they have taken two students for a uh, software engineer role. Google has visited the campus. Google has taken three MTech students and they're also offering software engineering role. There was Microsoft, uh, Microsoft India Private Limited, that is Microsoft, who has visited the campus and they have taken five students for software engineer. Qualcomm has also visited the campus uh, and they have taken five students for machine learning engineer. There was Tex Texas Instrument, who has also visited the campus and they have taken three students for embedded software engineer. Apart from them, there are uh, two other companies who has visited the campus and they have offered the international uh, role to the students. So one of them is Honda R&D. It has taken one student as a cloud service engineer and the role is for Japan. And there was Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, uh, the same company who has visited the microelectronics uh, branch of ISC. So they have visited the campus for CSE department in IIT Bombay. And they have taken two students and they are actually offering uh, the role for, for, for Taiwan. Now, if I coming to the packages, so Apple was offering the gross salary was 21 LPA and CTC was around 35 LPA. Google was offering again 21 LPA as gross salary and uh, or base salary and CTC was around 37.5 LPA. Uh, Microsoft India has offered 15 lakhs base and 31.34 lakh LPA as CTC. Qualcomm has offered 17.5 uh, base salary and uh, 39.6 uh, CTC salary. Then Texas Instrument has offered almost 20 LPA as base salary and CTC was 33.27 LPA. Now, Honda and this Taiwan company, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, they have actually they have given actually the uh, international offer. So that's why uh, their gross salary is not in INR. Uh, so, the, so Honda has offered around six, 76 uh, Japanese currency, 76 LPA Japanese currency and CTC is around 88 LPA. And for, for this Taiwan company, uh, the base salary is uh, 18.36 LPA Taiwan dollar and CTC is 22.58 LPA Taiwan dollar. So this is how this day one um, placement happened in IIT Bombay where 12, 22 students got placed. So coming to day two, in day two, there are 11 students who got placed in different companies from MTech CAC at IIT Bombay. So the first company which has taken student is Samsung. So Samsung has taken six students in day two. 
Uh, so they are offering two types of role. One was advanced developer in the research profile and second was senior software engineer in the embedding system. Then Fujitsu Research India has taken two students, one for software developer and one for applied researcher. MathWorks India Private Limited has taken one student as associate uh, software engineer. NVIDIA has taken one student for system software engineer. And finally, SAP Lab India, SAP Lab India has taken one student. Uh, and, and the role that they have offered is uh, developer associate. Now coming to package that they have offered, so Samsung for uh, the resource profile role, they are offering 19 LPA as base salary and 25 LPA for the CTC. Uh, for senior software engineer for embedding system, Samsung is offering 18.75 LPA as base salary and around 24.5 LPA as CTC salary. Fijus was offering around 19.7 uh, LPA for, as, as, a, as a base salary for the role that they have offered and the CTC was 22 LPA. Uh, MathWorks was offering 22.5 LPS uh, base salary and 24.4 as CTC. NVIDIA offered around 20 LPA as gross salary of base salary and 32 LPA as CTC. And finally, SAP Lab India has offered 16 LPA as base salary and 38 LPA as CTC. So these are 11 students who got placed in the second slot. Coming to day 3, uh, unfortunately in day 3 there are only 3 students who got placed. Uh, so there was two companies who has taken three students in day three and those two companies are Palo Alto Network uh, who was recruiting as a software engineer and the other one is Oppo India. Uh, so they have also taken a student as a software engineer and the package that uh, this Palo Alto Network has offered is 17 LPA as base salary and 32 LPA as CTC and Oppo has offered 24 LPA as uh, base salary and 34 LPA as CTC. Coming to, uh, you know, day four, Day 4 again, uh, there are total 13 students who got placed in different companies. And different companies which has been the campus is uh, Couchbase, uh, Kotak Securities, uh, Optium, uh, Quadric, then Coppa Software Engineer Limited. Then there are different other startups like Fullerton, NASA Network. So I am not familiar with these names, so that's why I am not able to pronounce it exactly what, how they, how they are called. Uh, so there are total 13 students who got placed in these companies in day 4. And most of them have offered, uh, you know, software engineer only and few of them has offered even management training, machine learning engineer, AI engineer also. And the salary was around, uh, you know, uh, base salary was around 18.5 to 23.5 LPA for the uh, day 3. Coming to day 5 and day 6, in day 5 also one student got placed uh, in a company. Uh, in day 5, the company which has with the campus is uh, final and it is consultant, so they were uh, recruiting for machine learning engineer. And in day six, uh, no no bias analytics. India Private Limited was recruiting for again for software engineer. And the salary for the day five company, the base salary was twenty three LP and CTC was twenty five LP. Uh, for day six company salary, uh, CTC uh, base salary was fifteen LP and CTC was eighteen LP. Coming to day 7, uh, total 8 students got placed in day 7 uh, and there are 3 companies who said visit the campus. Uh, so the names are Merce, Merklin, uh, MindGate Solution, Pine Labs. So I'm not sure whether they are startups or big companies. Uh, sorry for that. But yeah, these companies have visited the campus and most of them has offered software developer role. And the salary was around 15, lakhs, uh, 15 LPA as base salary and the CTC was around 19 LPA. Now then, you know, from, from then onwards, in, in, in day 8, two students got placed. And day 9, one student got placed. Day 11, 12, 14, 15, one, one student got placed. And their salary structure is almost similar. So uh, around 15 lakhs per annum base salary and CTC was around 20, 20 lakhs per annum. So this is how the placement has happened this year for IIT Bombay CSE. Now if I have to give you an overview about the salary structure that is being offered to the IIT Bombay MTech CSE student this year by different companies who have the campus. So the average base salary is around 18.4 lakhs per annum and average CT salary is 27.21 per uh, 2 lakhs per annum. But the maximum CT salary is 77.86 lakhs per annum and maximum base salary is 45 lakhs per annum. And the maximum salary is actually coming from one particular company. Uh, so the name of the company is IMC Trading. So this is a trading company. And I forgot to mention about this company for the day one slot data. So this company has been to the campus in day one. And they have taken one student from MTech CSE curriculum in IIT Bombay. And the role that they have offered is graduate software engineer. And they are actually offering this high 
gross salary or base salary that is 45 lakhs per annum and city salary that is 77.86 lakhs per annum. So these are trading company. I hope you all know that they usually offer very high salary. And these are the companies, uh, you know, because of them only, every year IIT BTEC students is to get, get a huge amount of salary offer uh, uh, for, for different roles. But yeah, I can see, you know, uh, they have also taken one CSE student from MTech curriculum as well. So yeah, this is how the overall uh, salary structure for the MTech CSE student in IIT Bombay this year. What is my takeaways from this particular data about the CSE uh, placement statistics in IIT Bombay for MTech students? So first of all, the you know placement situation is not good. Uh, as I have already mentioned for ISC videos and IIT Kharagpur videos, and as you have seen from from those videos, the data that I have shared with you, that not all students are getting placed from the on-campus placement because the market situation situation is not good. So that's why companies are not taking students at their full strength. Uh, many companies are not visiting the campus, and even they are visiting campus, they are taking you know very less students. So that's why even in IIT Bombay also, as you can see that, you know, total 66 students got placed till now, but I know that their total strength is more than 100. That means almost 40% students are yet to be placed uh, in some companies. So that is one issue that is happening. I hope in all the IITs that they are not able to get uh, their MTech students placed in different companies on campus. The second thing is, one good thing in IIT Bombay is that big companies have visited the campus. Companies like Apple, Google, Microsoft, Qualcomm, NVIDIA. Uh, then there is big names like Samsung, Texas Instrument, then big startups like Fujitsu. All of these companies had feet to the campus and that is one good thing because I have seen, uh, as I mentioned in the ISC video, that I have seen in ISC not many big companies have visited the ISC campus. For example, there was no Google in ISC, there was no, uh, you know, Apple in ISC, there was no Microsoft in ISC, but I can see these names are there for IIT Bombay. So this is a good thing for IIT Bombay campus placement. One more good thing about IIT B placement statistics is that there are more international offers is there for IIT Bombay MTech CSC student than ISC Bangalore or IIT Kharagpur student. So if you can see Honda R and D have visited the campus and they have taken one student from MTech CSC, then Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company has visited and they have taken two students. So these companies are not uh, have, have not taken any students in ISC Bangalore and IIT Kharagpur CSE department. Especially Honda hasn't visited those campuses, and even Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company has visited ISC Bangalore campus, but they haven't taken any student from CSE department. And one more good thing about IIT Bombay is that this IMC Trading, uh, which is a trading company, has taken one student from CSE, which is very rare because generally they used to take BTEC students from IITs, but it's good that they have taken one student from MTech CSE branch also uh, for the for the software developer role. So this is one good thing that more international offer, more offer from these trading companies are coming in IIT Bombay for the MTech CSE student. But if you look into the salary structure that is being offered to the IIT Bombay CSE student from MTech curriculum, it's not that great. I mean, the base uh, average base salary is around 18.4 lakhs per annum and average CTC is around 27 lakhs per annum. But if you compare it with the ISC Bangalore placement statistics this year, um, if, you, if, you, if you watch my video about IIT, ISC Bangalore CSE department, you can see that they are, you know, base salary was around 21 lakhs per annum, if I remember correctly, and CTC was around 30 lakhs per annum. So from the salary structure point of view, you know, ISC Bangalore students has got on average better packages compared to IIT Bombay students though you know the better names or better brand companies have visited IIT Bombay campus and mostly startups have visited the ISC Bangalore campus and finally one more thing I have to uh, mention here uh, as you can see the majority of the roles that is offered to this MTech CSC student IIT Bombay is software developer role or software engineer role there are very very uh, you know less amount of ML engineer or AI engineer or data scientist role is being offered I think data scientist there is zero role there is no role that is offered to any student as data scientist so this is one issue because uh, if you look the ISC Bangalore placement statistics most of the offer are coming as a data scientist role and this is something uh, even I know during my time also, so ISC Bangalore placement, uh, you know, is being conducted in such a way that most of the company who is visiting CSA or related fields, they has to offer a uh, data scientist role for the ISC Bangalore students. So ISC Bangalore data, if you, if you see, so there are more data science related role or data scientist role, but uh, as I see for the CSE student in IIT Bombay, majority of role that is being offered is 
uh, a software engineer role or software developer role. So yeah, that's it about the placement statistics for MTech CSE student in IIT Bombay. And I hope this video will be helpful for many aspirants who are aspiring for IIT Bombay for their MTech. And I know many of you are actually waiting for this video because in the last poll, I can see 70% student has voted for this particular video. So yeah, hit the like button if you have liked this video and share this video to your friends and other aspirants who are, who are preparing for GATE 2024. And about ISC internship, the next video will be coming up soon. I, I'll make the video and upload it maybe next week or next week, next week. So don't get disappointed that I didn't make the video about ISC internship data. So that video will be coming up soon. Now, if you have any question or query, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. And if you're new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when I upload new kind of video, you'll get a notification. That's it about this video. I'll meet you in the next video. Until then, bye.